You're listening to Music Planet with me, Catherine Tickell, and it's time now for this week's road trip, which is brought to us by Syrian-born, UK-based, wonderful canoe player, Maya Youssef. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to my road trip, where I'll share with you folk and classical music from Syria. The first stop in our journey is Sabah Fakhri, Mwashah Ya Bahjat al This Mwashah is so beautiful, and it's performed by such a huge figure in Syrian music, Sabah Fakhri. Why he is so famous? It's because he is known for performing a genre that is close to the hearts of millions. This genre is called Al-Qudud Al-Halabiyya. Mwashah Yabajat al is composed by his teacher, Umar al Bach, who was Sabah Fakhri's mentor. This Moshe has performed live at the Palace of Congress in 1978 and it certainly takes the audience on a journey of Tarab. Tarab is the aim of Arabic music. It's where everything flows and the audience and the performer are engulfed in musical rapture and there is magic that happens. And you can hear how the audience are interacting with Sabah and they're completely um, engulfed in that state of Tarab. That was Sabah Fakhri performing Ya Bahjat al Ruh at the Palace of Congress in 1978. The voice has always been and will remain the center of Arabic music. And it's only in early 20th century that we started to see the notion of the solo virtuoso instrumentalist taking the stage alone. Taqasim, which means improvisation, is such an important part of that notion as it is considered to be the very highest form of artistry. Here is Taqasim Qanun by my beloved teacher, Salim Sarwe. <laughs> That was Taqasim Qanun by my teacher Salim Sarwe. Moving on, we must always stop with Farid Latrash because he is another very loved figure in Syrian music. He was a composer, a singer, a poet, a oud player, fantastic oud player in fact, and he moved to Egypt and he exploded basically. He became such a huge uh, actor and performer there. In the following song, which is called Lakta Ba'ura al-Shajar, which means I will write your name on the leaves of the trees. Um, you can hear him sing against a very lively uh, rhythm and you can hear the feet stomping. Uh, this is a troupe of a traditional folk dance called Dabke, where a group of men and women hold hands in a circle. And this is from 
uh, the music of a very famous film called Zaman Ya Hub. That was Lekteb Aura Shajar by Farid Al Atrash. Religion is such a huge part of the daily life in Syria. And the word Syria came from the Syriacs, who are the Aboriginal people of Syria. They are Christian. And obviously, their music has its roots in Arabic music, but has it's a very distinctive flavor. Here is Tau Nestayab, performed by Mesopotamian fusion, where they created a contemporary spin on an old Syriac song. <laughs> That was Tau Nestayab by Mesopotamian Fusion. You must hear the voice of Sabri Mudallal. Sabri Mudallal is such a powerhouse. If you look at him, you would see a short man with very thick glasses and you would never imagine the amount of strength that will come out of his mouth. But once he opens his mouth, you are going to be catapulted in a state of tarab and musical rapture. Here is an excerpt from Mwashah Malal Kasat from the album Alepan Music Room, where Sabri goes into improvisation using the word Aman, and you are completely and immediately engulfed by that state of Tarab that spirals up and up and up. That was the phenomenal voice of Sabri Mudallal improvising on Washah Malal Kasat from the album Alepin Music Room. Thank you so much for joining me on this road trip. This is only a very, very, very small fraction of the incredibly rich music 
in this area. Obviously, I only covered folk and classical from a specific time. And I'd love for you to continue this journey on your own and to continue exploring. To finish this road trip, I'd love to share a contemporary folk tune from an absolute favourite composer of mine called Tahir Mamelli. He wrote the title music by a comedy called Daya Daya, and it's recognized as one of the most favorite tunes in Arabic music today. And our thanks to Maya Youssef for that road trip to Syria and for sharing some of her musical heroes. You can download that feature along with all our other road trips through BBC Sounds. And you might like to know that Maya's performing live at King's Place in London tomorrow. She's also at the Jammin' Around Festival in Cranbourne in Dorset the week after. And she's got tour dates in York and Manchester in June. Her new album, Finding Home, is out now. 